go through each NFL team and we're going to talk about if a rookie was drafted to that team, would they have a chance to be a wide receiver one, a wide receiver two, flex, so on and so forth. And we're just going to go through and see which teams we think are going to lead to fantasy success and which lead teams are going to lead to fantasy graveyard, basically. Failure. So, fantasy failure sounds way better. Yes. You missed opportunity. Fantasy failure. I know. <laughs> Thinking off the top. All right. First team we have up for consideration is the Tennessee Titans. If a, t- if a wide receiver was drafted to the Tennessee Titans, how would we feel? Taxi um, squad. I... I would say flex mainly the the biggest problem with this is there's no quarterback. I feel like any wide receiver that gets drafted here, which they have a chance to draft a really good wide receiver um, with that 11th pick. I don't know if they will, but they could easily. Um, and Traylon Burks, Westbrook, Akeen, and whatever is behind that is not taking snaps from it. maybe Burks. He looked good in a couple of games, but um, so anyone who's drafted here is immediately vaulted into the starting role. The problem is they don't have a quarterback to throw the ball to him. So yeah, that's I, the, Biggest problem. I think, you know, if we're going to look at the best wide receivers, I mean, even if JSN went to Tennessee, I don't think he would be serviceable this year. I really don't. They have the worst line in the league. They run, you know, about half of the time um, on that. You know, that's what that offense wants to do. You have Traylon Burks there who is going to command some targets. Um, You saw Chig start coming on, but I don't believe in Tannehill. I don't believe in this offense. I think they're playing for the number one pick next year. Yeah, I don't think you're wrong. The only thing that I'm going to throw out there that's a possibility, and we kind of talked about it when we did a mock draft, is if they trade up. If Houston really is wanting to get out of the number two spot, if Arizona really is wanting to get out of the number three spot, Tennessee has a perfect chance here with number 11 to potentially go up to get a quarterback to put on this team. Now, that kind of will affect what level of wide receiver they could get on their team. Um, But – I think Nick Westbrook Akine's spot is wide open. I think Kyle Phillips could at least take some competition. Traylon Burks is obviously not in any kind of worry here, but I would say that's probably the only path to that player becoming a flex to a wide receiver too. But I think I agree with Joe here and taxi squad. Yeah. If that happened, I would agree with Josh to be a flex, um, but I just have no, I just, it's gotta be one of the elite ones, but if you're saying uh, Quentin Johnson's really is slipping down, he could easily go to the second round to him as well. And I think that could be pretty solid. So I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. arguing for Tennessee's wide or quarter. Tennessee, please do that. By the way, that would be awesome. If that they would be awesome. somehow grabbed him and put him with Traylon, that would be really fun. Okay. On to the Miami dolphins. I'm going to start this one off because I think dead. Dead. Yeah, I wouldn't. I didn't think I would say dead on any of them, but we're just gonna go ahead and throw them dead because I mean, well, the problem is it's 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 really a taxi squad in reality, but like it's it's dead. I just wouldn't draft it. It is I I, at least for the next two years because you like you know Tyree Kill came out and said that as soon as he's up with his contract, he's done with football. Which by the I mean that's a taxi squad player, but at the same time that's two more years from now before you would get any value. I think the Dolphins, if they were smart, they would wait until next year to start diving back into that pool and that's to even say that they do that they might go out and trade for another one they did that with Tyreek so and Waddle's going to be there for the long haul I just don't see the path to success here um going dead also Miami doesn't really spend high on draft picks I mean obviously they got Waddle but name the last wide receiver they drafted Devontae Parker well that wasn't even that wasn't even the Dolphins pick that that one because that was the trade they traded to get that pick um so yeah it's dead all right, on to the New York Jets. New quarterback, who this? And Garrett Wilson, what do we think? I have to go with dead because um, let's just say Rodgers does go okay. here. Um, they lose all their picks for one. Uh, but number two, they have Garrett Wilson, Lazard, Hardman, Davis. I mean, Mims, if you still count him. I don't, but some people probably do. Um, I just don't think they're drafting an elite wide receiver at this point, and they seem to have a decent amount on the depth chart already. So. <laughs> And I don't think they have any picks to draft a good enough one to save and roster him on the taxi squad. Joe, yeah, <clears throat> you're right. I want to say I want to say flex just because I could see a way that Corey Davis is cut. Miko Hardman's not going to be a number two. Lazard's never going to be a number two. He's always injured. So if they were able to, you know, like a Quentin Johnson or one of these later guys, um, you know, even a guy like Bryce Wheaton, who's just a big size guy, I could see him. Aaron Rodgers kind of falling for that type of guy. So 
I could see I, flex, but I could understand that logic of them wanting to draft a wide receiver just to show, hey, look, Rodgers were serious, but they kind of made that already happen. And I think they have other holes they need to fill. And I I think that whatever draft trade package they do end up with loses anything that's worth grabbing. They do have a couple mid to two second round picks, but after that, they don't have anything till the fourth. And there's nothing good after that anyway for like wide receiver core. So Unless yeah, they I'm pretty indifferent on this one. Honestly. So I was just gonna. I'm thinking taxi squad. If I can be completely honest, I think whoever gets the Joe and here, Billy show, can... everybody. Well, you... okay. The thing is, you said dead. Joe said flex. The middle is taxi squad. So I mean, it's like that's the middle. I thought he said taxi squad. I don't listen to you guys. Oh, what? Did, what... It's the Josh no, show, it's everybody. The, it's the Josh he show. Said... It's whatever I say. No, we're going in the middle of you two. Um. I... Okay. I just don't see him being able to get a. a, a I disagree with you guys. Fair it's enough. It's fine. Uh, on, I'll let it go. On to the. Are we done? Good. Good. Are we good. Okay. <laughs> we got three teams in. I, we'll Fuck you. Guys. Wrap it here. All right. On to the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, I have a feeling it's a dead, but at the same time, if Higgins isn't going to stay, then. Maybe it could be a flex to taxi squad. What do you guys think? I I'd put it at flex to taxi taxi squad just because with the Higgins, they still got to pay Burrow, they got to pay Higgins. So this team can't sign everybody, um, and it and, seems and like Chase. Higgins. Tyler Boyd's still on the team, right? Yeah, Tyler, Tyler Boyd's, Boyd's still there. Still there too. Um, Herb Smith is there. Higgins, it's, it's and it, well, it's not that these three can't be valuable. I mean, even no, like I, I put Tyler Boyd in the flex category. He was startable last year in certain occasions. You didn't know what you're going to get from him, but um, especially if T does leave and they do try to replace him in the draft, because that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to rotate these wide receiver twos because Chase and Burrow are going to need money, and they're not, they're going to be pretty cash poor for the rest of the wide receiver core. So let's mention they, they're going to have to sign all these offensive linemen they keep drafting. So. Uh, I'd say I'd say at least taxi squad, but I could see the I could see the conversation for flex. Yeah. Okay. I like no. I like uh, <clears throat> I, I'm between taxi squad and dead. Um, on there, Boyd's still there. I don't really think Higgins is going anywhere. Um, this offense does throw like 63 percent of the time, so if there was an injury, he could absolutely get in there. So I wouldn't write him off and say dead right away, but it would have to be someone pretty good to crack into that core. So. I wish we knew what they were going to do with Higgins. I like. I wish they would either do the deal or tell us they're not going to re-sign him because then that would make this way easier. Um, man, I, I have a we'll feeling taxi Higgins... squad for now, but I just don't know how they pay him with Chase and Burrow. How how creative could they possibly get? Yeah, I, I, don't, Higgins, I don't. Higgins know. is one of those draft day trade people that could potentials. I should say. Definitely. All right, we'll go taxi squad for now. Okay. Joe, let's have you kick off the Cleveland Browns. All right. So the Cleveland Browns, I think, are – it's a really good spot if someone lands there, but they're dead for this year. There's no way. They got – we got to figure out what's going on with Elijah Moore. You know the Browns are going to see what they got in him. Donovan Peoples-Jones looked really good last year, filling in for that number two, and we get a full year of Deshaun and Amari Cooper. So I would say dead um, starting off for this year. I just don't think there's a way – they cut in probably right josh yeah um i don't know what kind of draft picks they have but i assume they don't have much and uh that roster does need an overhaul so i don't see them drafting wide receivers so i could see taxi squad because that's exactly what a taxi squad is is there's hope for them next year or maybe even later this year if something pans out so um just assuming that they could actually do something. I think their first picks in the third round though. So I don't see much there. So de- I, I'm okay with dead, but I'll say taxi squad. Wait to clarify. I, I know what a taxi squad is, but is this taxi squad like for this year? We're just leaving them on the Basically. taxi squad or yeah. it's supposed it's to be, but he could, he could do something this year, but we're, it's a player. You, you could pull them off the taxi squad, but like if you started out the year, probably starting on the taxi squad, like that's the idea. How yeah. you're I think there's. I think my biggest thing is there's still hope for Deshaun Watson to not be completely terrible at football. So he's going to be just fine. He's never. I been don't know if I can I say that you, honestly. No, um, appreciate you, Joe. He's a terrible person, but he's not a terrible quarterback. 
I really I appreciate, appreciate this tier game. maker giving us all teams that start out like not needing wide receivers. Like we haven't even gotten to a team yet that I'm like thinking. All right, well, let's there. scroll down to Kansas Maybe. City and get one up there. Yeah, I know. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. All right, Josh, I'm just gonna let you do this one. Jacksonville Jaguars. What do you think? I feel like we're right back to where we started. <laughs> um, fuck, dude. Um, yeah, I gotta go with. I don't want to say dead, but I feel like I'm going to say dead. Uh, like, what what are they going to really do? I mean, oh. unless the only thing you can really the argument here is if Calvin Ridley can return to form, because if he doesn't, then this person wouldn't be dead. But I still wouldn't even. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I don't feel like they're looking at wide receiver right now. They made their move for Calvin Ridley. That was their drafting wide and receiver Kirk last year. So like, and it, Kirk looked good. Kind of made their bed i think zay jones is the only spot that's like up for grabs potentially but why why would they you know why waste that i mean zay jones trevor was lawrence solid. clearly likes him i know yeah. exactly like in trevor lawrence is marvin jones him, gone so he is he's back with okay. detroit um yeah. so i guess taxi squad maybe maybe you yeah. can argue and you got evan ingram there at basically wide receiver as well so i would yeah i would say I not realize marvin jones wins the lions that's actually not a bad yeah. signing for them okay well we're going taxi squad i'm saying dead but whatever you guys say because i'd say dead. what'd you say okay Damn. Shut up, man this is going well <laughs> this is going well so far we have Three taxi squad teams and three dead teams. So right. let's keep, it, let's keep the gravy train going with the uh, Detroit Lions, which I'm not going to lie, in my personal opinion, also dead. But maybe we can have an argument for a flex spot. What do you guys think? Nah, with the signing of Marvin Jones, man, I got to go with dead, dude. That really is no that way they put him over the okay. kick. No, honestly, my problem, nice my problem is, is Khalif Raymond, Josh Reynolds, Quintus Cephas all showed what they can do. Um, obviously DJ Shark's gone now, so Amon Ra and Jameson should be the one too. But there's just this depth chart is just it's buried. They brought Marvin Jones back. They're gonna use him. He's probably gonna be more of a role player. He's not gonna be, you know, an every down player. But they liked Khalif Raymond and Josh Reynolds. I just like Quinta Cephas personally. But um, yeah, I, I'm actually going with Dead here because I don't I don't see him drafting one. I could see him doing it just because Dan Campbell's a wild card and he could really do anything. Yeah, I mean, it would totally be a luxury pick for Detroit, but they absolutely could draft a wide receiver here. They have they should go defense, and they're going to, but they've got a lot of picks. So I just feel like they're going to grab a wide receiver. Because, I mean, Jamison hasn't been there uh, healthy for very long. He's going to be this year. Raymond, you know, Reynolds, they're essentially what they were trying to make the, him into Jamison, or Jamison Williams. I don't know. I could see him drafting wide receiver. I don't want to say dead, but I'm going to say dead. If they draft a wide receiver, it'll be late and it'll be another Khalif Raymond. It's not, you know, Jackson Smith. Like, Jason's not going there, you know? Although, fuck, dude, if they did. Whew. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to think. There's so many, like, mid round guys, like Jonathan Mingo. If he went to this team, he could definitely take Josh Reynolds' spot. Like, that's the only thing that's holding me back. He's but I mean, the time with Marvin Jones, though, is the thing. This Marvin offense is, is just so there. good that I want a piece of it somehow so i know the rookie is probably the wrong play but yeah, we're gonna go yeah i guess we're gonna go dead because i said taxi squad joe you said dead too right i said dead but i want to go taxi squad but i'm gonna go dead okay well on to our first actual team we can talk about here and that is the minnesota vikings um guys they're in the market for a wide receiver too what do we think Wide it's receiver wide, two. It's a wide receiver two. Yeah, it's it yeah. said exactly. Justin Jefferson okay. is the wide receiver one, and whoever they drafted here is the wide receiver two for the team. And this team's gonna keep fucking throwing the ball, and they can't only throw to Jefferson. Although they will try. Yeah, as good as KJ Osborne's been, they do not seem like they are that incredibly sold on him. So you could get a wide receiver two, and depending on who it is, could be a wide receiver one. Because we saw Thielen be a back end wide receiver one a while ago, but. Wide receiver two, hands down. It's going to be weird seeing Thielen not on the uh, Vikings. Yeah, definitely. Um, Yeah, I think anybody, you know, speaking to anybody out there, if there's a rookie draft of this team, you need to have them a little bit higher than you 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 thought because there is a very good path to fantasy success here. I mean, Hawkinson and uh, Jefferson are still going to be the one-two on the pass catching, but – 
definitely have a chance to get that third amount of catches, which is quite a bit. I mean, KJ Osborne's not, you know, getting that much. So it's a good offense to go to, especially if you're a wide receiver. I love it. All right. On to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, Woof. Baker Mayfield, my guy, (laughs) is the quarterback currently. Mike Evans, Russell Gage, and Chris Godwin. Um, Thing is, they only have five (laughs) rostered receivers right now. So there is, I think, flex opportunity here, guys. What do you think? Yeah, hundred percent. I was gonna say flex just because there's there's rumors of Godwin and Evans both being traded. This seems like a setup for you know Caleb Williams or whatever quarterback comes in next year. Like you said, Baker Mayfield's the 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 get the first round pick kind of guy out there. Um, I, I I think that you pretty much immediately it's a, it's a starter at this point. I don't think Russell Gage is the guy, and we don't know what's gonna happen with Godwin and Evans. I'm obviously not saying wide receiver one because it's Baker Mayfield throwing the ball, but. It's flex consideration. I mean, I don't think you're putting this guy immediately on the taxi squad. So uh, I I think that if this, you know, if the, if the spot's right and the player's right, I think it, I'd say wide receiver too, if they had a valid quarterback. Man, we are really far off on this. I want absolutely nothing to do with this team at all. I, nobody. Okay. You could talk me into Rashad White. You're just calling him dead because of what Baker? I'm guessing the entire team. I, you know, I wouldn't even put him on a taxi squad because, I mean, Godwin could get traded. Evans could get traded. What is that guy going to be with freaking Baker throwing it to him? I yeah, I think I think the thing is here that we're missing is there's still a chance that Hendon Hooker goes here. There's still a chance Levis or Richardson slips down the board and they can make a trade up. I don't think the Buccaneers yeah. are completely out of this year. Uh, I don't. I could see them drafting a quarterback still. All right, Josh, what if Trey Lance goes to Tampa Bay? (laughs) I want to hear your analysis here. Um, Is there a sixth category under dead? (laughs) I'm just kidding. Um, Yeah, no, I just feel like they have a lot of capital in the middle rounds um, and Hendon Hooker at 19, or they could trade up with the Eagles at 10 if there's a quarterback that slips that far. Um, I think the Eagles would be okay with trading down and getting some capital for next year too, so... I, I just I see Tampa Bay as a trade up team right now. Still, if they're if they can get themselves a quarterback to uh, replace the Brady size hole that they have, I think they're going to. Obviously, I, we still think that you know Caleb Williams might be the future here. But seen Joe, I'm surprised right. to hear your take. You're usually the like, who cares if it's a bad offense? They still have value, guy. And I think this like, offense. Nope, I, dead. Yeah, I, I agree. But you also have two great wide receivers already here that are still on the roster and it's a horrible fucking team. I want nothing to do with it. You, this you guys can put it in place. I understand your argument and you guys are very smart. I'm not going to argue with you there. I'm just I no will. way. No way. I'm not going to argue with Josh. You, so. I will. Flex, right. That's what you, yeah, I said, I said flex okay. because I think that this is a, um, an offense that with whether Godwin and Evans are there is going to just be doing some weird shit. And it's going to be one of those like Houston Texans wide receivers that you're like, Oh shit, I can start Nico Collins right now with no offense and a weird situation. But so. did you enjoy starting Nico Collins as your flex? I know. I actually never did it. I can't say like, that I did. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would love if Nico Collins was in my taxi squad, but I'm in so many leagues and I don't even have Nico Collins. I don't think. All right, moving on to the San Francisco 49ers from Mace. Uh, got Brandon Ayuk, got Debo Samuel, got Jawan Jennings. However, that rascal Kyle Shanahan uh, typically likes to screw with us and put somebody in there that we didn't expect. We think this year he does something similar. Oh, yeah. They tried to do it with Danny Gray last year. They tried to get that They really did. Here. And this class is full of speedsters, so – I like taxi squad or flex. Those are my two. Uh, I'll confirm taxi squad with you. Um, I, I want to say flex for this, but I just feel like at the moment, Debo and Ayuk aren't going anywhere and they still got McCaffrey and Debo's going to have to slide back to more of a traditional wide receiver this year. I think obviously he'll still do some dump offs and stuff, but I think he'll stop doing what he did, what we saw Debo do in the past. So I just don't see them needing wide receiver but that doesn't ever stop shanahan from drafting offensive weapons yep i agree i would say Juwan jennings spot is up for at least competition but at the same time he may draft a second round wide receiver and we may never see him play football i was gonna so. say we're still waiting on danny gray too so exactly danny gray third round last year barely touched the field and that you know that's kind of the experience with kyle shanahan he is like i said a rascal 
All right, on to what is fastly becoming my least favorite team in the NFL, the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, they got Drake London. They've wasted Drake London. They've wasted Mac. Well, Mac Holland just got there. Um, oh, and Scotty Miller. Okay, damn it. They're going to make me do it. Maybe wide receiver two. What do you guys think? Dead. <laughs> you think I, I would have said that. Arthur Smith ran – the second least or past second least amount in the NFL last year. Granted, you had Mariota. He had what is Desmond Ritter? Had Mariota. Desmond Ritter is the yeah, exact exactly. same thing. I mean, he's not going to come is. in and put up massive passing numbers. You got an alpha with Drake London. Do you? I still consider Kyle Pitts a alpha we'll type never know. playmaker. We'll never know. But if you get him on an offense who's totally going to draft Bijan, and not you already drafting have Dijon at eight. Jesus 100%. Christ, get over I, it. A, no, this guy's dead. I don't want anything to do with it. Unless um, his name is JSN, he is dead to me. Yeah, I feel like the problem is London and Pitts are supposed to be good. What are they going to do with a, a not first-round wide receiver? I mean, like, they got fir- early first-round London, early first, way too early. First All right, round but pick. the opportunity is there. That That's the Is it, though? I'm Who's thinking? their quarterback? Are they going to draft a quarterback? Then that's when the well, opportunity Well, no, but they haven't. They didn't really let Desmond Ritter rip last year. They were still using, you know, safety gloves on him the whole Let's end ride. of the season. So they might just, just let him air it out and see Wilson what happens. Flip that golf cart. I did not, that's but right. I like that. I did not. Yeah. Of course, you did. Yeah, he was golfing in Denver, and he flipped a golf cart into a bunker. And uh, there's a phenomenal meme going around, and it's like, "Hey, Russell, we should walk nine holes." And then it's just him being like, "That's right." That's nice. Nice. He probably That's great. He probably That's... blamed his offensive line for that. Well, they probably were responsible for it. They exactly. should have blocked better. Um, exactly. I guess I'm going with taxi squad here, just because I still have faith that they're going to try to do something at quarterback. This is interesting. Like there, there is an opportunity here. I get it that they're, you know, but offense they didn't make terrible, London work and they didn't make Pitts work. And if they're going to do anything, it's going to be Drake London, London was not Pitts. a taxi squad player last year, though. He was still like a wide receiver two overall. I mean, that was not. Uh, and he's going to be a wide receiver four. two this year. If you think they're going to support two wide receiver twos, I don't see. I don't know what they're going to be this year. I mean. I don't like this, you know, I can't believe I'm defending them. Moving on. Um, (laughs) On to the Baltimore Ravens who join, you know, OBJ is there now. Rashad Bateman may be there. I don't even know. I don't even know if Rashad Bateman exists. Who knows? Um, Guys, what do we think about the Baltimore Ravens? This is our first wide receiver one, and I will not listen to anything different. Um, Wow. They got They got pick 22. If they're going to get Lamar to stay here, I don't know if they're going to be successful in the Hopkins trade. Um, But either way, this round one, number 22, whatever pick they have is turning into a wide receiver, whether that's that. I don't think they have to do that for Hopkins, but it's either Hopkins or it's, this is the pick right here. And they go get Zay flowers or Addison or whatever's alive. there. Quentin Johnson, apparently not, but um, this is a, this is a wide receiver. They're, they're finally saying, Hey, listen, we need Lamar to stay. We're going to make Lamar stay by saying, hey, here we go. Here's another wide receiver. Whether they get Hopkins or not. Oh, well, actually, no, that's not true. If they get Hopkins, he's not. But without <laughs> Hopkins, it is a wide receiver one. Odell Beckham is a role player, and that is all he's going to be for the rest of his career at this point. He's going to be fun to watch. He's going to do some goofy shit, and we're going to be like, oh, cool, man. Remember Odell? Should we start him next week? And you shouldn't. You should start whoever this guy is. Start the kicking net. That's interesting. I'm going flex, but Joe, what do you think? I was, I'm kind of on Josh's train here. I would feel more comfortable going wide receiver too. Um, But whoever it is, is going to get playing time. He has to. So I would say wide receiver too. I think it's funny that you all think this wide receiver on this garbage ass team would back. I'm sorry, but Lamar's throwing the the ball. The Falcons get. How are you going to, no, okay. Okay. Let's let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and do this. So it's Odell Beckham and J- and, and I said Jason Bateman, Rashad Bateman, and then we're talking about London and Pitts, who you th- both you both think are really good people, right? So I they do. draft yeah. another wide receiver, and then you think that that person's going to be even in flex category. Okay. Well, Mark, Mark either Andrews one of those is guys are wide share. receiver twos. Mark Mark Andrews is getting his share from this offense, no matter what. I understand what, that, but Lamar's Bateman's there. coming back from an injury. We and don't know what he's, he's going to be. We Odell know what Odell's going to be. He's going to be okay. At best, this person is the fourth option on the offense. I'm sorry. Yeah, I definitely I, I think, think so. I think it's this Edison. is literally worse than the Falcons, but 
you all think wide receiver too, so we'll There's go no way this is worse than the Falcons. <laughs> way worse all. than the Falcons. Way okay. worse than the Falcons. All right. I, I, I don't I don't know. Moving I, along. Have have y'all used uh, Baltimore receivers in any of your teams? Because no, but this is the year they're actually going to say, "Hey, look, we have receivers now." If you say so. All right, on to Joe's Bears. Uh, a lot of moves for wide receivers. Do we think that if they add one, that player would be relevant? No. Um, I I think he'd be at least a flex play. Um, Mooney and DJ Moore are the one two. Um, yeah. They still need a third. It's I'm sorry, but it's not Claypool. the rest of your guys. What size it's league are you playing in? An 18 team league? Do you still think Claypool's? I well, if if Fields is as they good, they wasted as he's a gonna... first round pick on him. He better. If fucking we did not play. waste a first round pick. I've got a pick whole lot of Joe. Week eight. I did pick, pick 32, 32, Joe. It was a for, literally a first I, round pick. I hate to say this, but I agree with Billy. Um, but yeah, no, it's <laughs> if they're drafting a wide receiver, which they probably will. He's going to have to have relevance because Justin Fields, if Justin Fields is what people say he's going to be, then he's going to need this third guy. We don't know if DJ Moore and Mooney will be able to do it themselves. Like it might be a fucking spread field. I'm saying flex. I'm not saying like I'm going to start him every week saying like I might throw him in there see what happens after a couple weeks. I'm not Mm -hmm. arguing with you. I'm just not drafting him Um, unless it's draft every Bears player ever. I don't want to hear it. You're right. Um, Pettis will be so, on your team this year. Pettis will I've, be back on your team if it's raining. Taxi squad's the best you're getting out of me. You guys can fight over it. Okay. I can see. Well, ta- I, I'm not. I'm not against the taxi squad. I'm just saying, like, they're probably going to go get a wide receiver. Taxi squad. We definitely need a wide receiver. I just don't see him being relevant this year. For sure. All right. On to the boys from Dallas. They have Gallup. They have Brandon Cooks. They have CD Lamb. Do we think they have something else cooking up on this team? Yes, I think I think Gallup's dead. I, I, I we would have saw last year. It's true, but whoa. no, I think he's actually still alive, like personally. But like, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. He's dead. that was important. So. <laughs> no, sorry, I want to clarify. Apparently, I'm not very good at telling stories anymore. Um, I would say flex consideration. I don't want to vault him into wide receiver two because he literally would be the third on the team. Uh, this team doesn't have their tight end anymore, though, or. They got the Ferguson Hendershot boy, which I'm assuming they draft a tight end, but we'll see what happens. Um, but I imagine rookie tight end coming in, usually not the best case scenario. So I imagine this third guy is going to basically take up the bulk of the Schultz car- targets. So I feel like he's going to have opportunity and Cooks might be over the hill at this point. I mean, he's still done great over it throughout his career, but we don't know what he's going to come into. He's not going to be Amari Cooper. Let's put it that yeah, way. I Top agree with that. Cook's statement. I mean, I could see a rookie coming in and taking over the number two from Cooks, but I still think they would probably split enough to make them beach a flex. I don't... Feeling flexy, are we? Because that's what I'm thinking. Nice and flexy. Yeah, I feel I feel like flex. I want to say wide receiver too because this team has the capability, but the way Dax played the last couple of years, I can't value three wide receivers on this team. Flexy and you know it. All right, on to what I believe is our first wide receiver one team but we'll see if everyone agrees the houston texans it's not true the ravens was the first wide receiver one. Oh right you guys disagreed yeah we get our way in this podcast josh well i'm hoping mechie's back so i'm hoping it's not a wide receiver one but let's be real they're drafting jsn and he's a wide receiver one robert woods nico collins and hopefully mechie gets back somehow i don't know where his uh recovery is at but just wanted to wish him some well on our podcast for sure Okay. They have nothing to add to that. That is, Houston actually threw the fourth most in the league last year, which is pretty. They threw a lot, man. Davis Mills actually my, earned his my case role. for my case for Davis Mills to be a top ten QB was right in theory. Problem is, he is not very good quarterback. So, well, we're going to see a second it, it chance of it. So, maybe. I mean, I had to just not draft a new quarterback. Hopefully, they don't uh, foolishly not take a quarterback. Anthony Richardson needs to be I, I think the best thing about this Texans last year was Davis Mills now gets to be a backup in the league for the next three to four years, at least because of that. But he should. I think you're right. No. Okay. On to the Indianapolis Colts. Josh, what do you think? Uh, I want to say wide receiver one, but obviously Pittman's there. Um, and then we Alec, we saw some flashes of Alec Pierce last year, but I don't think it's really like his role at wide receiver two yet. So um, I'm going to say wide receiver two just because I think Pittman's a lot better than Jordan gives him credit for. 
Um, they had no quarterback last year. Uh, or, sorry, they had a, a dead Matt Ryan. I think he was actually dead when he was playing. He's just like a zombie running around the field, throwing the ball no, <clears> with <throat> a giant neck. Uh, but no, uh, Pitt, I'm sorry. I just had to throw that slander in there. Uh, Pittman looked so great on the worst throwing offense in the league. So I can't quite give him a wide receiver one, but I'm definitely giving him a wide receiver two. And I think this is one of those teams that's going to pad something with their, uh, quarterback selection. Okay. Joe? Yeah. They have to get a wide receiver in there. And I agree with Josh completely. It's a wide receiver two here. Pittman's the alpha. If you want any sort of success this year, you got to have some backup there. Pierce is not the guy. He's a wide receiver three at best. So get someone in there. My I'm still looking forward to wide... see what Pierce got. My argument was going to be wide receiver one. I don't. I I think Pittman is good, but I I fail to see how he takes the next step. I just don't think he is going to be a top twelve player. I think he's going to float around that mid range, and I think whoever they bring in there has. Pittman. The Chiefs right now. All right. Uh, this will be our, this will be our well, first we fireball bet. Player. First fireball bet of the podcast. Pittman goes for over a thousand yards and eight touchdowns. Take it, Bill. That's that's so specific. Mm, I'll even give you a hundred no. catches. I will go. He will not be a wide receiver one. Like top 12. Top 15. Okay. I'll go top 15 because I, I think that. Is per, like that's perfect. If you Vegas was going to draw a line, they would literally put it probably at top at fifteen. If uh, they be were like thirteen point six. I could see him being a, a wide receiver one. I actually love me some Mike Pittman. Like, how, how would he? Okay, they got a rookie quarterback. I doubt he's going to get to thirteen. Maybe he got nine. He had we'll nine hundred yards last year with fucking Matt Ryan. So no, I'm I'm he's he's gonna he's gonna get up there. I hope they bring in a wide receiver. That's all I'm saying. But wide receiver two. All right, on to the team that barely has any players even on it at all, to be honest, and that's the L.A. Rams. Guys, you think they're going to use one of their draft picks on a uh, wide receiver? What are their they draft should. picks? That's the question. Round two, 36, round 369. No, they got a second round, 36. They got a, a high really second did. round pick because they have their still kept theirs. Um it's going to be tough because I don't know what they're going to target because they need so much to make this team competitive. But I feel like if they're going to do anything, it's going to be a running back or it's going to be a wide receiver um, just because they need, I think Gibbs could fit that mold for 236 if he makes it there. Uh, but I could see them also going receiver. What do they got? Van Jefferson and Atwell. Ben Skoranek and Cooper Cup. Oh, I forgot about Skoranek. They do love Skoranek for some reason. <clears throat> Poor man's Cooper Cup. Um, I'm going to put flex consideration because this team's going to throw the ball a lot. They still don't have a running back um, and they're probably going to add a wide receiver, but I don't see them going running back then wide receiver either. So I don't know. It's tough. I, they probably go wide receiver and then do something like late round, fourth round running back or something. Still okay. see what they got in Kyron Williams. Joe, I'm between wide receiver two and flex. I think they definitely have to be up there. Uh, Van Jefferson's a great buy low right now because everyone's just sleeping on him. He was injured last year. He looked pretty good at the end of the year. So good guy to acquire. But, uh, yeah, if they invest anything, I got to go flex. But you know Stafford's going to be just throwing it all over the yard this year because they do not have a line. Um, yeah, I like flex. Let's go flex. I feel like the I'm biggest going, issue I'm is that Cooper too. Cup gets everything. No. <laughs> but yeah, they got to spread great. the ball more. They need someone well, every to time a wide receiver gets drafted here. When, when two, two Atwell got drafted here, we we're like, Oh, well, here we go. Here's, here's the next guy. And it didn't end up working out. Van Jefferson gets drafted there. We said the same thing. Um, it's just been disaster after disaster, but they didn't bring one in. They just traded Allen Robinson away. So no. I think that that is promising to them potentially bringing someone in. Okay. On to the other LA team, the LA chargers. Uh, Joe, what do you think? Wide receiver one because Mike Williams ain't it. Oh, for a little beat. Okay. I like that. Um, very spicy. Um, I'm actually gonna go um, with I'm gonna go with taxi squad because at the moment they have a full supporting cast with wide receivers with Josh Palmer, the way he played last year, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams still all on the roster at the moment. I think they'll all be there, but Keenan Allen's obviously aging. Um, so next year would be the the year I'd be like, fuck yeah, let's get that new wide receiver in there. But I don't think it's this year. Um, I think their offense, it's its really the offensive line and the defense that really needs to be uh, revamped right now. And the, if they're going to make a, a run against these Chiefs, I could see them going wide receiver just because they're like, 
yeah, we need to have a better offense because we're playing against Patrick Mahomes and these teams. But I, uh, yeah, I just I feel like they're why their their team's fine if they keep Eckler, offense wise at least. Um, line and line of defense is where they need to really improve. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. I guess I'm gonna go taxi squad as well. Um, the only thing is like I'm just thinking to myself if they draft someone like Marvin Mims or something like that, for example, like, man, it's going to be hard to keep him off the field. I feel like, but as he related to Denzel Mims, he is not. I've okay. Well, I was going to say that he wouldn't be on the field anyway. Is he related uh, to Mims? Uh, he's not related to Davis. Uh, not that I know of. I haven't checked that one. Um, yeah. Taxi squad. I guess that's, Lame. that's the right place. Fuck you guys. To go. Sorry, Joe. Well, you just hate Mike Williams. Best, so anyways, no, fuck Mike literally Williams one of the best wide receiver landing spots. But, all right, we'll play your game. Yeah. Play your game. Quarterback wise, you're right. Play your game. I think I think you, if Joe. there was if like Keenan Allen was gone or something, or like you know, Mike he is Williams. Gone. He's not though. Or if he's they were looking in the light of his career, gone. Fair enough. All right. On to the Las Vegas Raiders. They've got Devontae. They've got Jacoby Myers. They've got Hunter Renfro. They've got bigger fish to fry than a wide receiver, in my opinion. But I don't know if they're dead. Guys, what do you think? Dead. Okay. I would actually say taxi squad just because of the amount of early round picks that they have. Um, One, seven, two, three, three. Um, I think one was like a whatever consolation pick or whatever they call that, or maybe it was in a trade. I think that they maybe could do something. <laughs> I, I agree. I mean, they, they need to revamp everything else. Um, and with the Renfro being there still too, with Jacoby Meyer, I mean, I, it's hard to say dead. I, it could be dead if you guys want, but I, I say taxi squad because there's a possibility okay. that they, no, it's dead. It's dead. Just put them in dead. It's dead. I'm trying to it's make that. Argument. It's just not it. I, there needs they to be a 10, six they have 10 wide receivers on this team. And I just don't think that, this is the. I think they have bigger fish to fry. I mean, this was like yeah. a running back thing last week. Bigger fish to fry on the Raiders than a wide receiver, in my opinion. So, yeah, dead. All right, on to the Washington Commanders. Um, mm, also, I dead. don't know. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you all start, but I, I think I think you might be right on that one. Uh, scary, scary tease. They're still there. They still don't have a quarterback. They got Dots and Diami Brown, Curtis Samuel. They don't even have a fucking owner right now, man. <laughs> no, they do got an owner. It's the Sixers guy, remember? It hasn't been signed yet. I would I'm actually remember. pretty excited to see if Sam Howell can actually have this starting job. It'd be actually pretty interesting if he's the guy. They brought in Brissett. So it, it seems like they're not going to draft a quarterback. I mean, I assume. And it seems like it's Sam Howell's job, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I don't see them drafting wide receivers. I could see them drafting O line and maybe trying to give this rookie you know, sophomore quarterback a little bit more. I just think that Protection. McLaurin and Dotson complement each other so well. I don't really see room for another wide receiver on this team to, you yeah. know, to do anything. If this was multiple that. years, I'd say taxi squad because the commanders always seem to draft the right wide receiver. But if we're talking about just this year, I don't think they're seeing any playing time or meaningful playing time. I think you are correct about that. Um, yeah, that's tough. I actually have a bet in for them to take a wide receiver with whatever their first round pick is going to be. Don't know. Might be wrong. I don't believe it's Sam Howell. So I hope that that's not the direction they go, but we'll see. I don't know. New owner comes in there. Maybe that new owner wants to spice things up. Guess we'll see. All right. On to everybody's favorite wide receiver landing spot, the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I'm going to let you all take this because I know what we thought of Sky Moore last year, and that didn't work. I want yeah, it. we can we can just stop and just put wide receiver one real quick because it doesn't really yeah. matter. They they need it, and they're going to draft one. So It's wide receiver one. I mean, it, we're talking about possibility. We're not talking about, oh, Sky Moore is a wide receiver one. We're saying he should have been. I mean, well, they had Juju at least last year, but there's there's just a bunch of aging veterans and Kadarius Tony and a bunch of young guys who've never proven a damn thing, so. Uh, they have 135 wide receiver targets that are available and 223 altogether. Justin Ross is being pumped up right now. If you want to believe it, 
more I, power to you. I can see a way it works out. I'm just not getting hyped up about it. I don't think Sky Moore is taking the jump this year. I think they actually get a solid wide receiver one here. Justin Ross never touched the field last year. I'm not going to start banking on random incidents. Neck but injuries I mean, are scary, friends. I understand that. I'm just saying I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, he's fucking got this, you know? Like, no, I said, like, neck injuries are scary. So, like, he should not touch a field again. Like, I don't know why people are thinking that's a possibility. My two cents. All I'm right, on weird. to the New Orleans Saints. They took a wide receiver in the first round last year. They have Michael Thomas, who's apparently still playing football there. Could have fooled me. And then everybody's offseason darling, Rashid Shahid. Do we think they take a wide receiver, and do we think that player will be relevant? No and no. Well, they should take a wide receiver. But did you guys see the report that Michael Thomas still is not healthy? I'm not just, surprised. It just I'm came surprised. out like a week ago, and they're like, oh, he still has a ways to go. It's like, dude, you dislocated your fucking toe like two fucking years like ago. three and a half know? years ago. Yeah. People don't forget. You're fine, man. Just just play football. Just play football. Yeah. Uh, Michael Thomas's career is over. I don't know why we keep pretending that it's not. So I got to say uh, there's a wide receiver wide receiver two possibility, but I'm going to go with flex here because I think they do draft wide receiver and I think that they can easily have an input and I don't think they go heavy, but I think it's one of those guys that we just, you see and not one of the, I'm not talking about their past draft stock where it's always just this random guy who has one good game and you're like, Oh, is that the guy? It's usually not. Um, I think they actually get a pretty decent late earlier mid round wide receiver at some point. And I think that, Somebody's got to be number two to Olave, and I'm not banking on it being Chris Olave or uh, Michael Thomas. That's fair. I just know as soon okay. as I bet against Michael Thomas, he's going to actually play. So I would say taxi squad. Um, I've been talking shit on Michael Thomas for the last two years, and it hasn't hurt me yet. So it should be fine. I've been pumping him up for two years, and it has hurt me. Hey, where is right. um? Where speaking of, is Taysom Hill still on their team? They still got that ridiculous, ludicrous contract. He yep, is sure still does. on the team. Um. That's they said they restructured this. Contract it is what it is. All right. Sorry. I just, just wondering. No, you're good. Um, so Josh, you said wide receiver two, uh, flex, flex, flex. I think I'm in that camp as well, just because I don't even think Michael Thomas is going to play for this team ever again. So can't, I mean, can't see how there's not a path to success there. She Shahid, Everybody who has a dynasty roster should just run out and check and make sure he's not, for some reason, sitting on the waivers because he is going to probably start for this team last year. He was pretty good in limited time. Um, but I think that other spot is wide open for anyone to have. All right. <clears throat> on to the New York Giants. This is the biggest wide receiver one spot in the entire NFL, I believe. Um, we don't have any disagreements about that, right? Um, no, I actually disagree. I'm going to say wide receiver two because uh, the New York Giants cannot okay. feel the wide receiver one because well, Daniel Jones is not good. Okay. Joe? We're talking about their performance. We're not talking about the position title. I I'm mean, going to say wide receiver, receiver two because they already have a wide receiver one. Oh, from and Isaiah Pete. Hodgins. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> we really taking this time to victory lap Isaiah Hodgins? I guess yeah. So. yeah, exactly. Play Play this with our heads, not our hearts. Um, but I, Joe, I realize that. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm surprised to see that one, but majority rules. All right, on to the Philadelphia Eagles. They have two great wide receiver ones on this team, but there's a potential for a wide receiver three. So, what are um, you thinking? I was actually originally thinking that they could potentially go for someone in the draft. Uh, I don't think that's happening anymore. Um, they signed Olympity Zacchaeus today. I know he's not great, uh, but that basically fills the him and Quez Watkins are on the team. They could draft a wide receiver. They probably will because there's not a whole lot of depth here, but they did just go and sign one right before like a week before the draft. It just seems like, hey, we're probably not drafting wide receiver. There was rumors that the first round could have been a pick for a wide receiver, and I just I don't see it happening. Um, they got bigger fish to fry at, with the f- losses in free agency. Um, There's I think no anyone, way they don't draft one. I think I, I think, think they'll draft one, but I don't think he's he's not touching the field. It's more of a depth filler, like 
taxi You don't squad think Zacchaeus' like spot is up for grabs? Because assuming he's slotted oh, right I away. Mean, right now, it's still Quez Watkins' spot, to be fair. But uh, Zacchaeus is basically filling the Pascal role, I assume. I assume that's what's going on, which is was was important, but not worthy of starting. I just found out Pascal is in Arizona. I did not know that. Um, yeah, I would say taxi squad because of the offense he's on, if there were to be an injury. But that's- I don't think they're drafted in a... That's what I'm going with. I feel like yeah. it's it's a it's a oh maybe he could be. I'll probably draft the person in the fourth round in one of our dynasty leagues. Well, man, that's tough. I think he's gonna be a flex player, but I guess we'll see. There's a lot of useful wide receivers in this draft. I think so. I, I hope that some of these players don't get stuck on bad teams, even though they just might do that. You know they um, all will. Yeah, it seems that way. All right, on to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have way bigger fish to fry than wide receiver, but that is not going to stop them from taking one that's going to end up being a Hall of Famer potentially. So what do we think? Everyone that Tomlin drafts turns into a wide receiver one, so I kind of yeah, just want to put him there initially. so good at drafting wide receivers. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to go with wide receiver two just because I still don't really have a whole lot of faith in uh, Pickett. Pickens or pick it? Pick it. The quarterback. Okay. Just throwing the well, ball. We have Deontay so Johnson oh, and fair. George Pickens. So, you think well, no, that's fair. I don't have faith in Pickett throwing the ball and finding a third guy. When it was Big Ben, sure, he could make anyone a star in the heyday, obviously. Um, well, I was thinking but... Taxi Squad for this because I don't think he's going to crack. Oh, the yeah. No, I agree. Lineup. Taxi Squad. They're I good like at drafting wide receivers. Um, I just can't find the role right now to where I would start this person ever. I just, I just want to go ahead and coronate them now. Yeah, for real. I got to know the conversations that go on at that scouting department about wide receivers because we miss on them all the time, and they just nail them. Yeah, they have a hell of a scout there. All right, on to the Denver Broncos. They have Cortland Sutton. They have Jerry Judy for now, and they have Tim Patrick coming back from a devastating injury last year. Um, this is one of the teams that also has 10 wide receivers currently, so I don't know if they'll go that direction, but I'm willing to listen to it if they, if you guys think maybe a flex play here. I like a flex play for it. Yeah, I was going to yeah. vote flex or taxi squad because this, with the whole Sutton rumors and Judy rumors all off season, there's still a chance that these people get traded. Um, especially Sutton, the way he's played the last uh, year and a half, um, hasn't been the most solid, obviously injured for a lot of that first one, first part of the season of two years ago. Um, yeah, I got to I got to go with at least flex or taxi squad. I, I, I'm leaning towards flex because I have a feeling this has sneaky upside. But the problem is, by the time your draft comes, you'll already know whether or not Sutton's going to be there or not, probably, because if that's a draft day trade type thing, so. Yeah, and I, I think Flex, too, because Patrick, if he is healthy, I mean, Russ loved him in camp, and you have to assume he's going to take a lot of that work away, too. Yeah, I so. do love Tim Patrick. Yeah, yeah, let's go Taxi Squad just because let's see what happens. I go Flex, man. You want to go Flex? I, I, I forgot about Tim Patrick, honestly. I'm I would flex. I would honestly say wide receiver, too, if Patrick wasn't coming back. Cause yeah, I still have a there's, feeling there's something's a lot, gone. There's a lot to like about uh, where this team's headed. Okay, on to the Green Bay Packers. They have Christian Watson there. They have a bunch of random ass role players, and they have Jordan Love. Boys, what do we think? They also still have Aaron Rodgers, and there's still a possibility that Aaron Rodgers plays for Green Bay. I doubt it, but they did it last year where he said he's done and blah, 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 and then goes and signs the contract. And Aaron Rodgers is a case for the melodramatic. I'm saying there's a potential for wide receiver one still. Yeah. Okay. They don't I'm have a wide you, receiver Josh. one. Christian Watson is good, uh, but not great. I disagree uh, and they with have you on that. Nothing one. else. So, so with Jordan Love, you think this player is going to be uh, a wide Aaron receiver Rogers one? Is still on the roster right now, and there's still He's a chance. He's not going to play on this team. They did the God. same thing last year. Why are we pretending like Aaron Rodgers isn't a fucking? They already had a deal in place, stadium. pretty much. Like, what does that mean? They already have a deal in place. Have they made the trade? They have not made the trade. They have the terms laid out, but it's not going to happen until after the draft. I, I'm assuming that's what they're waiting After on. the draft? Okay, because they're losing draft capital. No, it's not happening. It's Aaron Rodgers is going to play football again on the Packers because it's stupid and he's a big crybaby. Wide receiver one, they finally draft a wide receiver because that's the only way he'll actually stay. Josh, fireball bet. Uh, he does not play on the Green Bay Packers next season. Aaron Rodgers? I already did yeah. this bet once. I lost it and I went the opposite way. So, yep, let's go. Okay. 
Well, okay. I, I don't know how if we're actually helping people, that is helpful for them, but okay. I don't I mean, know how even, this is helpful for Jordan, anyone, but okay. Even with Jordan Love, okay, so let's say hypothetically they trade. No, no, shut the literally, fuck up. Literally, Jordan Love shut is literally on up. Desmond Ritter's Jordan Love. Love. Jordan Love plays, plays and, and Aaron Rodgers gets traded. We already okay. talked about this. Green Bay Packers are drafting wide receiver in the first round just to fucking spite Aaron Rodgers. And you know who goes in the uh, in the first round of wide receivers? Good ones. And that's what they're going to get is a good one. And Jordan Drake London did that. A crutch. Yeah. Drake, well, Drake London went in the first round of the NFL draft last season. I, first one I, taken. And, and the Falcons are fucking hot garbage. The Packers are a good team. Are they? They're I, better than the Falcons. I'm and just going to cry Jones, AJ when, Dillon, they have Aaron, an offensive yeah. when Jordan Love turns into the third coming of Brett, Brett Favre, I am going to cry, and I know it's going to happen. So I'm putting I was going to say this is exactly what happened so. with Brett Favre. And, well, Aaron Rodgers coming back out for Brett Favre. And if Rodgers does get traded to the Jets, it's just like the same concept, and that means he's got to turn into the next Rodgers. Like he'll immediately just grow a handlebar mustache and just go out there and play and be on State Farms commercials. It's going to be great. Dayton Indy driver and I hate the Packers. Insanity. I want to see them fail. This I, I, pure I, insanity. Yeah, hundred percent. All right. Well, since we've it gets the people going, die. You know, dove straight into crazy town. The Carolina Panthers are next. They have Terrace Marshall and DJ Chark and Adam Thielen and Lavisca Chenault because some people get triggered by that. Um, and they're going to have a new quarterback. Um, I'm going to go with taxi squad because they're going to go quarterback and then they're going to immediately try to bolster the rest of the trash team. And then they kind of already addressed their wide receiver concerns in free agency. Um, I don't see them. I mean, they rebuilt a whole offense basically throughout free agency. So they can't really afford to not, or to go draft a wide receiver at this moment. So I'm saying taxi squad because you never know with this ragtag bunch of wide receivers, aging veterans and, getting rid of DJ Moore, who's been their staple in the wide receiver department lately. There's no real wide receiver one at the moment, but at the same time, there's a lot of wide receiver threes all on the team. It honestly reminds me of the Chicago bears. So I can't say that anyone's going to immediately vault into wide receiver one or two category. Uh, I would go flex. I think Bryce Young is going to be a gamer and this wide receiver core is just mediocre enough to where I could see a rookie making an impact. So I agree completely. They, they don't have a wide receiver one, and I think there is plenty of room for somebody to come in this and take over. So whose spot are they taking, Thielen's, Charks, or Terrace Marshall's? Maybe all of them. It, well, any we'll of those through. spots are up for grabs. I don't, I don't think any of those people are untouchable. I, I, I don't. Taxi squad. Flex. It's fair. All right, on to the Arizona Cardinals, who still have DeAndre Hopkins. So this wide receiver core is still intact, if that is the rules that we're playing by. Uh, so with Marquise Brown there, with Hopkins there, what do we think? And Rondale Moore. And Rondale Moore, who had a fucking stellar middle of the season. like Taxi squad. Um, I In just, I Hopkins feel like it's, traded. I was going to say, I feel like it's got to be flex. Because Marquise Brown and Rondell Moore slotted in so well here. And if Hopkins actually does leave and they go and draft, like I assume they'll get some capital to be able to go replace Hopkins. Well, have well, to we're try. not doing if. We're not doing if. DeAndre Hopkins is we, on the team. Okay. You just said the same thing about Rodgers. He's he's traded. And he ended up and they in Green Bay ended up a wide receiver one. So I mean well, we're playing I'm by sorry, the but rules. are we playing by your rules or like what are the rules here? I'm what are I'm the playing rules? by yours? I still DeAndre don't Hopkins understand the rules. Team? I made the argument for both Rodgers being traded and not being traded. Why can't we make the argument for Hopkins being traded and not being traded? Regardless, it's a flex. Actually, that's not true. If Hopkins see? is on the team, it's not a flex. But Hopkins is jaded. He's gone. There's no way he's coming back. They're... Yeah. Hopkins is a consummate professional. He's going to play if he's still there. He won't be there. Oh well, yeah, I, I think okay. he'll. I think he would play if he was there. <laughs> yeah. I'm on taxi squad though. Agree with Joe. Don't think this. I don't even with this is an A and B podcast. There. Josh, you should see your way out. I see that. Kyler you guys really heated when I say things. <laughs> Kyler isn't like even going to play. So like this is even more of a disaster. Why is Kyler for not going to play? Whoever. He's going to be hurt. 
for the first couple again, again? weeks of the or, season. Oh, oh, so the same injury. I, did, I wasn't sure if you were just saying Kyler gets injured, so like he'll be injured again. Well, I mean, if they don't do anything about this offensive line, he's definitely going to get hurt yet again. <clears throat> but, yeah, the Cardinals are a disaster. They have a lot, a lot to rebuild on that team. And especially if, like, Buda Baker leaves, like, man, they have – a complete overhaul coming. So I don't know. This might be another team that might be tanking this season. We will see. I hope not for their sake, but it looks like it. On to the Buffalo Bills. They have digs, but I honestly think Gabe Davis is not a wide receiver too. So I was going to say, I Allen, actually want to, this could I be wanna, a spot. I, I want to talk about this for a second. Can we just finally admit that everyone was wrong about Gabe Davis? Everyone hyped him up before sure. last season. I feel like we hyped him up before the la- the season before that. He is a role player. He is he is yeah. Christian Watson. He's going to get his three he touchdowns is, uh, every once in a while. A flex, Christian a Watson's play. way better than Gabe Davis. Play. I actually do well, agree with that. That's statement. actually true. Yeah, yeah that's no, true. I, I agree with I, your Christian Watson similar... hate went a little bit too far there. I had to reel you back in a little bit. Uh, telling you Christian Watson and Gabe Davis are the same type of player. I didn't say Christian oh. Watson's worse than Gabe Davis. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is a wide receiver too, though, because there's Chris no one Watson's here. Way better. Thanks to Kalia Shakur yeah. uh, eh, had a had a game. I think was there anyone else on this team that I'm missing? Like there was another guy, wasn't there? Smokey Brown. Well, Smokey I mean, Brown. That, that's John, John Brown, Brown was there for like was five days, five games. Yeah, he did so, catch a touchdown in the playoffs. Yeah. I'm pretty sure John Brown so. was pretty. He did have some some hope there again. Um, yeah, no, I but, gotta say, it's no. a wide receiver too. Yeah, there is a lot of opportunity on this Buffalo Bills team to be relevant. And Gabe Davis, he's he's been giving given everything in life, but he didn't do anything with it. So I think this is one of the grabs. least likely Bijan Robinson landing spots, even though everyone thinks it's the highest likely. I they went with Damian Harris, they still got Hines, they got James Cook. I'm not saying that those people are better than Bijan, and I can understand drafting him and we've seen crazier stuff, but everyone keeps putting Bijan on the Bills on mock drafts. And they need a wide receiver. Like you can't yeah. pretend that mm-hmm. Bijan Robinson is going to band aid this team to be the the team that everybody thinks they could be. Which you know, we I think we all well, agree they wouldn't have put as many resources in the running back if they thought if they were just going to end up doing that anyway. Like that's what I, I keep thinking. Like I don't know why Bijan is always there, and it's just because people are excited as it's to what he spot. would be on that team, which yes, would be exactly. pretty nasty, but. Well, it's I like you put that... him on the Chiefs. It's like, no, 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 no. He's not going to go to the Chiefs. They don't. They don't have enough capital. To they get tried. That. They tried that round one running back thing. Oh, they tried. Yeah, yeah they tried that. Got Edwards Alaire over Jonathan Taylor. It's hilarious. Oh, it's hilarious that yeah, they've freaking hilarious. That. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes. It took me a second. I see you did there. Actually, job. it took me way too long. Yeah. Oh. That's what happened by Team 30. All right, on to the Seattle Seahawks. I think there's an opportunity for a flex play, but at the same time, there's a lot of moving parts here that would make that not happen. So what do we think? Yeah, I think for have to... safety purposes, it'd be taxi. Go on, I Josh. Was say, I, no, I was going to say the same thing, taxi squad. Um, I think Lockett surprised at least me. I think it surprised all of us, though, last year. we I think we thought he was a Russell Wilson toy, and in reality, Lockett's just a great receiver. Yeah. He's not going I do anywhere. think they draft his yeah. replacement this year, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. but Everyone's that's foul. why we say taxi. Yeah. 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 Okay, on to our last team. And as always, it's the New England Patriots. A lot of people have uh, a wide receiver in the first round mocked to them. That seems like a very unpatriotic thing to do. Um, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. What do you guys think? Wide receiver one, baby. They need it. Juju is not a wide receiver right. one. I think the problem with my wide the wide receiver one take, and you guys can put him there. I get why you say it. I just feel like the take is here. When was the last time they had a wide receiver one on their team? Randy Moss, baby. Randy Moss, exactly. <laughs> I just yeah. don't see a wide but receiver one. They hit Antonio one Brown possibly. for like two games. Yeah, well, yeah. he was he didn't turn out to be a wide receiver one that year. I cannot, in good faith, put him as a wide receiver one. I understand why you would. I think Mac Jones is trash. I think what they do is they actually trade up and somehow – the 10th pick turns into a quarterback. Levis slips there and they trade up with the Eagles. That's been my mock for the longest time. Um, I don't know how that happens. It's possible. It's possible. It doesn't happen, but I don't see a wide receiver one ever being on this team again until they get a good quarterback. 
or ever, yeah, maybe. I'm trying to, I mean, Jacoby Myers was pretty useful for the last couple of years, but it wasn't really like good useful. It was more like flex play useful. So I think you're right. I think that even if they get a player there, unless they're planning them to just unleash Mac Jones and he's had some gear within himself that we've never seen, I, I don't really see how. He needs some ayahuasca at the very least, although it didn't work out for Rodgers. Rodgers.